Hello my Hello Kitty fans, this is Hello Gabius and welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, welcome to my channel. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that bell notification and like this video. And today's video is a very long overdue. I never gave the hint that I had purchased these items that I'm about to show you, but I am so excited to finally show them to you. Show you this cute little box I got and it is from Kid Robot. So right off the bat, this looks so cute. So these are the Kawaii Enamel Pin Series. These are the arcade design. So let me just show you what the packaging looks like for each of these pins. So they were pre-ordered. I did order 11 of them because there were 11 different pins. So I hope that I got like the whole series. And these were a whopping 100 and ten dollars i know i know it was so expensive i ordered them back in january to me it's just so unique so i just can't wait to open it That's what it looks like so cute and then it does show you the different designs here let's hope like i said that i'm able to get the whole series here so I ordered 11 of these, or there should be 11. So for our number one, they come nicely packaged, nicely sealed. And my first pin is, ooh, this is my Melody. And I'm noticing that they have like a little chain attached. Not sure if you can see there. So cute, guys. Ooh. So let me open this pen, take it out of the backing paper, and let's look at this paper. Oh no, it fell out of the keychain. That's not good. That's weird. Why did it do that? Mm. So it's a loose chain and I guess you just add it on to the pin itself and you attach it like this. So, okay. But let's, let me show you the packaging. This will be the only one I'll show you. I'm sure they're all the same. Hello Kitty and Friends, Kid Robot, Arcade Design. So cute. And this is like your little menu, if you will, on all of the ones that you can collect. There are 11 of these. So like I said, let's hope that I'm able to get all of 11 pins. It does come with a little rainbow. So I'm assuming that you can attach the little chain to it if you like to the little rainbow or you do have two separate little pins. And number two, And we have Hello Kitty, cool. So we do see Hello Kitty here. She looks so retro. And then we do see that she has like a little crown for the little pin. Cute. So far so good. Ooh, which one is this one? Oh my goodness, so this is another um, My Melody pin and you do see like a little butterfly, little mini pin there. So this is definitely My Melody and it was my mistake. I don't know why I said My Melody. This is Lala from my little twin stars. This is not My Melody, but it's still a different pin. This is My Melody. Okay. Ooh, Karomi, and how cool is that that she gets a little boombox for her little chain? Ooh, next pin is Karomi again. So I got a duplicate, guys. Um, ooh, look. 
and Kuropi has like a little Game Boy. So cute. Let's see on. Kuromi again for the third time. Kuromi. Oh, wow, this is awesome. Look at this one. This one says Hello Kitty and it's pretty big. And then on the little mini pin is the traditional Hello Kitty bowl. How cool. Love it, love it, love it. Oh, and we got another one. Another Hello Kitty pin. I have two more left. Hello Kitty. So it's another duplicate. Oh, it's a different one. So it's Hello Kitty and she's like in a spaceship. And then on the little one, it's like a little, little alien cutie guy in its own little spaceship. It's tethered to her. Cool. Now, as far as this little handout here, unfortunately, I did not get Kiki to complete little twin stars. I did not get Pom Pom Perrine, uh, Bats Maru. Ooh, there's, there was another Hello Kitty one. Oh, that's too bad I didn't get that one. At least I got two or three because I got the little Hello Kitty here and I got this one. And then, of course, the actual name. So I did get three. That's too bad I didn't get the fourth Hello Kitty pin. But nevertheless, this is what I got. I am still so happy with it. So now as far as for these uh, duplicate pins, gosh, I just love this one. Um, so I ended up getting two Karomi, one Hello Kitty, and then one with the Hello Kitty name as extras. So what I'm going to do is uh, I can include at least some of these on my next giveaway. I haven't done a giveaway in a while, but as soon as I hit 3,000 subscribers, I'll go ahead and I'll do another big uh, giveaway. I just need to collect items to be able to have, to me, what I consider a real worthy um, giveaway. That's what I'll do with these that are extra. And the last item that I got that is related to this Hello Kitty and Friends arcade design is i am just so excited let me just show it to you guys i hope i can show it to you guys but i think you're gonna be able to tell what i got so this is a pretty long box i did get this one from zoomies i can't believe i kept this for so long and ta-da it's another girl skateboard and it is the Hello Kitty arcade design. Look at how beautiful. And this is the Hello Kitty one. I just love it, guys. So what I paid for this one was $59.95. Uh, as far as the measurements for the board, I don't really care for. I just buy it and display it on my wall. So that is what I do. So I am going to open it up so I can get a better detail for it. Oh, so you do get a girl sticker. That's cool. And then... Here, I was hoping that you would get stickers too, just like on the other skateboard on the uh, Tokyo Speedway uh, boards as well. It came with a sticker with stickers as well, but this one does not. So, this is what the label looks like Senra Kawaii Arcade. So, if you put them together, they kind of all match, they make like a big mural because the rainbows here match, this decoration matches, she matches up here. So if you collect them all, you can create like a whole wall of decorative uh, kawaii arcade design. That's cool. Okay, so, so just to show you. So it does say here, the Girl Skateboard Company Design in Torrance, 
California. I'm not sure if you can see that. And I do like that they um, include that here because it does make it authentic. It's not a replica. This is like the real thing. And I do like that they like engrave this on the board now because it is definitely the real thing. Now, um, as far as the other side, gosh, it's such pop of color. And I really love it. So it says select player and we're selecting Hello Kitty here. And it has the same uh, skateboarder here. My Carol is just such a beautiful, beautiful board. I absolutely love it. And stay tuned on how I display my new skateboard. Now, as far as my thoughts, um, I love the pens. They are just so vibrant. They're pretty big pens. And technically, you do get a little pen and then a big pen. And if you want to tether it with a chain, you can do that if you want. Um, just like Lala here. You can definitely tether it. If not, then you do have two separate pens. That's really nice. I really love the pin designs. The pins don't disappoint. I know that I got some duplicates, but that is okay. The actual product itself, really nice. Where's the skateboard? I love the design on the backside. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Really, really nice. As far as the side where I guess you would ride the skateboard, uh, stand on the skateboard, it's kind of plain to me. It's really just all black and it just has like the image here. And if I run my hands through, I can feel it. So, and I know that this is just going to be a decoration piece for me to hang on my wall. Um, this is definitely not for use. This is just for decoration. And so I I'm not sure how I feel about that. So to me, that is not good quality, especially since I could feel it. So, I mean, that's just my opinion on that. It's pretty much plain, just a black background and it has the decoration here and it's really small. So anyways, uh, that, that's my opinion on that. I do like that they included a girl sticker, but I'm disappointed that they didn't include more stickers, just like the Tokyo Speedway skateboards did. Um, I kind of wish that they would have done that. That would have been really, really awesome. Uh, but they didn't. So anyways, it is what it is. And either way, when I hang it on my wall, I'm going to hang it on this side, obviously, to show the big, big graphic on the skateboard. So those are my thoughts as far as the Sanrio Kawaii Arcade from the Hello Kitty and Friends collection. I love it so much, guys. Um, it did come out last year. It does say here 2022. So I know I'm very late. I, this has been sitting in my closet for five months. I know, I know. But that's okay because I finally get to display it and I absolutely love it. Let me know what you think of the Hello Kitty and Friends Kawaii Arcade design and collection. Let me know if you've collected anything. I know I'm really late, but let me know if you did collect anything from this collection. And let me know what did you get. I want to thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please give this video a thumbs up. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to hit that bell notification to notify you of when I upload a new Hello Kitty video. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day. Guys, right, so I want to show you where I put my pens. And I got these like little slim, um, they kind of feel like foam. These I got them at Amazon and I really like them because they have a sticky back. So they're very easy to put on your wall, but they're like in place of a cork board. And so I do have my cork board here with all of my Hello Kitty pins, but I wanted some more room and I thought, ooh, I could get them in pink. And I put my new arcade 
um, pins here and I just love it. Love the way it looks. That's too bad I didn't get more pins, but just to show you a little update on my room, I guess. But let me also show you where I put the skateboard. So I have it on this wall. The new skateboard is here. And my very first skateboard I got is here. And then the Tokyo Speed skateboards are up there. So that's the update. Thank you.